what I want to show you here is a uh, kind of a three-part section on what's called a P-Sec or a passive SEC exciter. By passive I mean it's operating strictly without a power source. What I have here is a little aluminum block and I'm bringing that aluminum block up to the positive power rail. Across the two power rails I have hooked three super white LEDs. Each of them have a forward drop of 3.2 to 3.7. They're, they're fairly inexpensive white LEDs so they vary. So when you want to figure this just figure the worst case 3.2. So you've got uh, 9.6 uh, across the power rail. And here you can see the uh, in the what normally is the base circuit, this particular LED is super bright also. Now I do have a different uh, L2 arrangement and I'm using no let me zoom in here, I'm using no transistor and I'm using no one meg resistor for the base. Everything else, with the exception of I am tuning it somewhat differently, I have a fixed capacitance here. I don't have that variable capacity. Let me show you what one would normally look like. You would see that we would have that one meg resistor in there in the base circuit, and we would have that tuning capacitor, and there would most likely be a bridging capacitor across the tuner. But in this case, the tuning capacitor is not there. It's a fixed value. The one meg resistor is not there, and the transistor is not there. And we have basically a larger L2 because I'm using two of the bobbin coils. Here's my L3. Ignore that. That's something I've got to get to here shortly. I want to show you some more on the electrolysis. But anyway, uh, here's our L2, our L3, and you can see that there's there's no power source to this whatsoever. So what we have here is strictly a passive circuit, and is it working? Of course it's working. I mean, we're seeing the LEDs work, and is it putting any output? So the way to test that, obviously, is put a, a load on it and see if we do have an output. And so if I can touch this while I'm holding the camera, we can see that we do indeed have output from this guy, enough to, to light a couple of 12 super white LEDs. One thing to watch when I load this guy up, watch what happens. It does not suck the power down from the PSEC. It actually increases the energy in that passive circuit. So as I, I touch this load on it, take it off. You see when I've got it off, uh, there's less energy right here, but when I load it down heavier with the 12 LEDs, we have more energy there. So anyway, this is going to be part one. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll break this up into three parts so it doesn't take so darn long to load. But this is called a PSEC. It's a passive SEC exciter. It's very, very similar to the regular exciter because what we're talking about here is we're talking about the uh, ability of a transmitter to also be a receiver. This is kind of the premise of the whole SEC theory.